Dr. Pushpal Singh. Morning, good morning. Good morning, we are seeing you. Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir. सर पीपीटी दिख रहा है सर हाँ पीपीटी विजुअल है प्रेजेंटेशन मोड पे कर लीजिए ओके सर सर तो वे स्टार्ट सर या या सो डियर पार्टिसिपेंट गुड मॉर्निंग टू ईच एंड ऑल uh we are very happy today the second class we have uh, dr pushpa singh uh, associate professor department of rural technology gohasi uh, das vishwavidyalaya bilaspur chatisgarh so uh, welcome sir this is a fifth uh, fip program and with me i have professor bhagdindu singh who is a basically from commerce department and co coordinator of this uh, fifth fip program so we are saying sir is a very uh, ground root working professional uh, in field of the rural work and i think after 10 years uh, i saw him physically means face to face <laughs> uh, uh, in 2002 uh, sir i think you joined gurukhasi uh, das university i uh, yeah, one or two i recall 2001 One, one. Okay, so yes, two thousand, yes, yes. I joined uh, Khasi Das University. That time, contextual and sir, two thousand one joined. We were five years together around two thousand six till I was there. So after a long time, sir. So welcome you in this FIP program, sir. And uh, I am very grateful that you are able to share your experience, your work experience with our participant. With this uh, small introduction, I am handing over the session to you for your lecture, sir. Sir, thank you, Manish sir. Thank you, Bhartendu sir, for giving me the opportunity and interact with you and with your participants. Good morning, all. It's a uh, Professor uh, Lal Din Lina. It's give a good lecture related with the innovations, incubation centers, and so many other things related to technology development. Uh, I. Uh, i start from a brief introduction about my own department my department name is department of rural technology and social development we are running two courses uh, bsc rural technology and msc rural technology and uh, this technology is related with the uh, rural development sectors center so today we discussed the uh, my topic is critical analysis of rural development programs it's related with uh, my uh, departmental work recently uh, we, uh, our team is completed one project that is funded by national council of shadow tribe it's the rehabilitation and uh, uh, resettlement activities of tribals from achanakma division to outside of bilaspur so that uh, so many interaction in during last three months uh, we are uh, interact with the tribal communities their problems their uh, and so, so many things uh, about their rehabilitation and resettlement activities uh, so that uh, one idea in my uh, mind why rural development programs are uh, physical uh, really they are going a good sense in the rural development sectors or they are only developed by the uh, our uh, big persons or personalities or our uh planners our executives they are doing good job in the sector of rural development so that today topic is related with the critical analysis of rural development programs so i start this what is rural development so first we think about the what is rural because uh, rural and urban two words we are using uh, in the we uh, are i think decades or centuries so what is ruler ruler according to international encyclopedia of social science that is a broad general consensus of the term of ruler refers the empathically population living in the area of low density and to low uh, small settlements 
so in other word we say that a village village is also the the very low populations very small settlements and in the another term in a village when you think about the village what conceptions so what uh, imaginations developed in your mind first no electricity no roads no other infrastructure facilities no other amenities like education health and everything available in our village i am not talking about uh, northeast region because northeast uh, region is more developed rather than the chatisgarh in our states or in the uh, mp or odisha and some other state northeast states villages are more developed villages in comparison to these states so uh, when we are talking about the rural so the population living in the village area that is a rural population the population living in the urban area that is but in the urban area so many uh, 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 small pockets they are uh, not benefited uh, with the particular amenities or infrastructures they, are, they live like the similar situation of villages we say that is suburban areas and some other uh, slum areas and some other words then development first one is a rural another one is a development the term development according to lele 1975 Uh, it's so with the masses of low income population residing in rural areas making the process of rural development self sustaining it means we improve the income of the particular population it means it's a development so the as per the lele the development is only the rural development self sustaining process is the development of rural areas but in another uh, definition agrol 1989 development is a strategy to improve the economic and social life so we are discussing in this particular definition economic and social life of a specific group of people that is rural poor or a small farmers marginal farmers tenants and landless because landless is the uh, new word after 1980s this word was introduced because before 1980s there is uh, so many landless populations are there living in the villages they are farming uh, rental farming so in the other words they, they uh, do the farming by the uh, big people or uh, big farmers under the big farmers and some other so uh, in our uh, areas uh, in our villages the small farmers are there marginal farmers are there the landless farmers are there and the population of this category is small marginal and landless increasing day by day day by day uh, uh, as per census of uh, india in 2011 our landless farmers population is increasing along with marginal farmers it means divide of the our lands within a family members there's increase the landless or marginal and small farmers category or populations in our area so agrawal uh, def- uh, give the definition related the rural development it means to only uh, it's give the stress on economic and social life of the these peoples of this group small marginal tenants and lands but what's about psychological what's about imagination what about the other amenities of life they are not discussing only economic uh, and social development is not enough to the rural development as per my perception as per my thinking so uh, one brief introduction about the rural development and rural development then another one the rural development is defined also by the united nation the give the definition is a process which leads to con- continuous rise in the capacity of rural people to control their environment accompanied by the wider distribution of benefits resulting from such control even uh, un considers this particular definitions on the basis of natural resources available uh, near the villages because villagers are using those natural resources to develop their own environment like the formal fields they are raising lands social forestry activities they are doing so many things on their particular land even though in the tribal areas 
the we are providing the tribal rights to harness these natural resources for their own livelihood pattern. Then Robert Chamber in 1983, they give the another definition related to the ruler development. It means they give the enabling the specific group of peoples, either poor ruler, women, or men. It's an enable. Well, how we enable? By the education, by the uh, finance uh, support, by the uh, programs to, uh, run by the different organization, either government organization, either non-government organization, they include all the things in their own information. Robert Chambers provide this information to gain themselves for their children more than more what they want and need. It's involved help, helping the poorest among those who see the livelihood. In the rural area, demand and control more of the benefits of the poor The group also includes small scale farmer students. Are there, uh, it means uh, all the definitions include only small farmers or major farmers, or, uh, but they are not include the medium farmers and big farmers. Those are also residing in the our villages. Uh, even though small farmers are, are residing marginal, along with small farmers, this group, poorest group, from big farmers are also residing in the villages. And they provide the employment opportunities to these landless farmers or landless community. So all these definitions are uh, not fruitful, all the criteria of rural development in the present scenario. The meaning and definition in another world, according to the World Bank, they give the another definition, another criteria that is improve the economic and social life. That is also dis described by uh, Agrawal and others. Then uh, as per the National Commission of Agriculture, that here India established the National Commission for Agriculture to develop the agriculture. They also uh, give the definition related to the rural development. It means the development of the area, then optimum development and utilization of rural uh, resources and some other institutions, they are providing the knowledge on uh, packaging services and providing the demonstration facilities to the innovative technologies or new technologies so that they will improve their uh, livelihoods or they uh, do the better job, uh, better work in their own fields. So the uh, National Commission of Agriculture emphasis on the technological development of our rural peoples uh, through the using of local resources. So how we can use the local resources? They were done, developed by the forest department also, even though tribal ministry developed good plan, some other organizations are developing the good plans for uh, uh, resource, uh, utilizing the local resources. Because local resources or natural resources are different from area to area. For example, Mizoram, in the place of the good uh, vegetations, and a very rich source of uh, different biodiversity. But that particular biodiversity is not available in the Chhattisgarh region. So the employment opportunity that based on the natural resources that differ from the Mizoram, Arunachal uh, Pradesh or Meghalaya and differ from the Chhattisgarh. So the natural uh, resources or the local resources are different from the area by area. So single plan is not executed in entire uh, country, for example, the similar technology not used in the Northeast, so that that particular technology, uh, those used in Chhattisgarh, that is not used in the Tamil Nadu or Kasmi, because natural situations are different. Then uh, I have made a one uh, term, uh, definitions in the border term. The definition of development is the universally, uh, universally. Because, because why universally? Because our community, either it's poor from you know, our India, either it's poor from Africa, Pakistan, they are the similar living standards. Just like a uh, uh, foot uh, hand to mouth and so this, uh, they are not financial, uh, very strong to purchase all the things, all their basics uh, needs. They fulfill not uh, not fulfill the basic needs of 
their uh, daily to daily requirements uh, so that how we can develop the uh, their situations how we can develop uh, the any plans that are uh, that is suitable for entire region entire nation and entire areas so uh, uh, we concentrate individual or uh, individual families and the community then after we go to the state and the nation center so area specific plans are very important in the development so uh, today's we have critically analyze all these development uh, programs in the uh, era different areas uh, i include uh, all these things in my uh, under slides uh, slides so first stage pre independence era it's a 1866 to 1946 uh, in other words we say the before independence and then after independence two since post independence that 1947 to 1953 because that is a very critical situation after independence uh, uh, we are not planned for all uh, india yeah, our administrative bodies are not functioning very well our administrative positions and organizations are not established within a, a, a five years because india independent after independence that is a very huge population 33 uh, 35 crore populations the very big area and the facilities are very less so many things in the post independent area in the 1947 to 1950 so we discussed those program launch during the 1947 to 1953 then community development program because i have mentioned this specific program community development because cdp is a very uh, used uh, program that uh, run entire India phase by phase, phase by phase. Then extension services here, 1953 to 1960. Then intensive agriculture program, then development era, 1962 till this. So we uh, discussed all these stages and uh, eras in coming slides. So pre-independence era, 1966, uh, 1866 to 1947. Uh, so many programs run by the different uh, individual person because i am saying a individual because that particular program run by the individual people the concept developed by the individual people and they run for the society so see niketan project see i mean not ever everybody knows their work in the field of rural development they start their journey for one is education school education from uh, see niketan that is a very small village and they have worked for the educate uh, the students are uh, not for uh, our basic education related with the science and they are concentrated with the music and some other uh, painting activities some other activities those are incorporated in the education part before this uh, uh, the, all these things are not linked with the education system in our primary level in our middle level or in the, uh, uh, Sir Ravindranath uh, Tagore in, introduced all these things in the uh, pre-school education level, just like a primary, a middle, and uh, secondary. Uh, the Seniketan project also gives the emphasis on the cleaning activities, sanitation activities, uh, and uh, the uh, water uh, purification activities. So that uh, Sir Ravindranath Tagore developed the entire village uh, by their own work. That is not uh, any plan, that is not any, any project funded by the any organizations, their own development, their own uh, efforts, uh, and they develop those things by the help of different peoples. But their entire efforts is onto the Ravina Tagoji. Then another Martinum project, 1921. Dr. Spencer H. organized this program. Then Gurgaon Experiment FL Bani, 1928. Then Saruda program, Vinova Bhave start in the year of 1948 25 but they start from the, all these things from uh, 48 after meeting the uh, Mahatma Gandhi. So uh, these four programs are uh, important programs in the 1866 uh, to, uh, to 1947. The weakness of this uh, ruler experiment program first is the plans program and organizations were lacking weak and unbalanced because uh, this is the individual centric programs, individual uh, 
developed um, so that these things are not interoperative. Then the parallel programs of supply services, guidance, and supervision were not developed. Suppose we start any program, but uh, we have not uh, given any services or guidance. So that these are the lacunas or weaknesses of this. The needs of proper methods and skill to approach to the task, the another concern. Research and evaluations are lacking because they implement the program, but how we can, uh, sorry, how they can uh, develop the good uh, things or they modify the programs or they change the plans. Uh, it's need the research and evaluation, but that is lacking in the particular program. Association coordination is another one thing because that is a very limited by associations with the other organizations or other things. Uh, that is the scientific programs and supported by, sometimes supported by the different organization, but that uh, support is very limited. The development of village peoples in thinking, planning, and executions of village that are not properly achieved. Then last is the result of the past efforts. Suppose we are starting any new program, so first we analyze the uh, past programs, what is the uh, reason for success or failures or some other thing. So and that is also one lacuna of these particular programs. So that uh, all these things uh, are uh, based on the individual persons. That why we can say uh, these things are uh, uh, not incorporated in the particular plans. That's why these plans are not very successful. Other than only one program, that is Sri Niketan project, that is a very good project. Then post development programs for that. Uh, what happened after independence? The government of India emphasizes all these things. First, the economic betterment of people, then you know, greater social transformation. That is another concept. Then increase participation of peoples in the rural development programs. Then decentralization of planning. Decentralization of planning is a one big plan for community development program. Then after uh, we say uh, another uh, so many programs that is related with the uh, rural development, but uh, decentralized planning is needed in all programs. Then better enforcement of land reforms. Because at that time, uh, when after independence, our uh, lands are uh, under the big farmers or the jamidas and some uh, big landowners. So that that uh, areas, that uh, particular regions or that particular productive lands are equally distributed in the different farmers. First, they are uh, gathering the information from the big uh, farmers or landowners or jamidas how many uh, lands they are occupied, then those uh, lands acquired by the governments uh, are remaining this land uh, distributed in the peoples or locals on the particular. So the better informants of land reforms, they plan to develop the land uh, acquisitions, uh, laws and some other things. We know we are doing a good job on the particular things for the land reforms. They, uh, uh, visited uh, near about uh, 15 states at that particular time and uh, they uh, uh, promote the big farmers to donate their lands to the government for uh, distribution of those lands in the rural peoples or the poorers or the landless farmers. Then greater assist of to credit from capital centered approach to people-centered approach. It's a well big task because credit, one thing, then capital investment, the another things, and how capital uh, give the uh, particular people and uh, peoples use the particular capital for their developmental activities is another sectors. Okay, how we can manage the capital in the form of credits, in the form of so that uh, all these things are very important in the post development programs. So in the uh, uh, post development program, the big program is a community development program launched in the 2nd October in 1942. Basic elements, they focused on the individual cultivators because at that time, 
government of india establish uh, their administrative units in the uh, in entire districts just like uh, collectors and uh, um sp sent some other revenue division for the residents uh, they develop their offices in the districts not in a block not in a and they uh, uh, decentralized the districts areas areas of states is everything up to the 1952 after the 1952 so many states are developed uh, madhya pradesh and uh, before chatisgarh is uh, the part of madhya pradesh uh, before 2001 But in the in 1956, the Madhya Pradesh is uh, divided central final provinces. So uh, distribution of a particular jurisdiction of districts and uh, states is continuous process up to 1952. But in the 1952, community development program gave the emphasis to the individual cultivators. Cultivators means they are. Cultivating the crops in their own lands, either that is rented land, lands, either they are provided by the governments, either they are their own lands. Second, restructuring and reorganize district administration. That is one most important thing because so many concepts are coming from the community development program. Then, third one is very important: provision of facilities for agriculture production to cooperative and block agencies at that time russia has a second power and uh, we have link with the both uh, power just like america and russia but we have influence with the russia and uh, russia provide the cooperative farming systems in their uh, in, her, uh, in their country so uh, we adopt the particular cooperative farming model in our country also so this model is also included in the community development program provision of welfare facilities by block community project it means within a community development program so we develop the small block community projects for development of a specific block then uh, the project area is also uh, derived that is 150 to 500 square kilometer and not more than 300 village in population about 2 lakh it means in the year of 1952 our population is not more than 40 lakhs uh, uh sorry 40 crores so uh, at that time our village population village population is more than 5 lakhs uh, to 20000 villages today we are more and more because uh, of increasing population is increasing the number of villages we are establishing our uh, people are establishing in new villages for uh, far flung areas or for forest areas or those areas that are not developed they are living and they are developed their own their lands on the particular area and start the farming but at the time of uh, 1952 uh, this and under this program they have developed the one block community project and every block community project include 2 lakh people and 300 villages divided another thing divided into three development blocks then village level worker either you say the uh, rural agriculture extension officer or gram sevak is the uh, uh, basics level extension functionaries in the community development program one thing basic community development program it means that particular concepts come from the community development program that is the village level worker it means every village need a one worker they provide the information about government they provide the every uh, transfer of technologies by uh, uh, every individual cultivators so that one extension facilities uh, available there in every village that is the plan of community development but it's impossible to uh, provide the services of one person in every village not in the case of uh, in the year of 1952 in the present uh, year just like uh, we are talking about the 2022 uh ario uh, circle is uh, eight villages it means within a eight village one uh, rural agriculture extension officer working one block extension officer working uh, in the 
15 cluster of villages. So that even today we are not uh, providing the services to every villages as our branch uh, or uh, our areas. Uh, in the community development program, focus on agriculture is a very important thing. So that uh, the major concept is we have developed the agriculture so that agriculture improving the economic and social activities, uh, uh, improvement of the farmers is also increased. So agriculture, major emphasis on the agriculture, so they develop the facilities on the uh, agriculture, just like an example of uh, Punjab, Haryana, they are providing the irrigation facilities, developing the big dams, and providing the uh, 24 hours irrigations where the dams or the uh, need and as per the crop needs, they provide the irrigation. So that particular uh, agricultural productions are increasing where the facilities or infrastructure facilities developed in the particular area. So this type of plants uh, in the entire block of our country. So every district develop the uh, plants for their own th three blocks and community development programs started by the uh, pilot basis on the 31 districts of uh, entire India. Then is uh, step by step is, uh, include all the districts of India. It means community development programs up to 1956, they started entire country within four years. So uh, they give the emphasis on agricultural production. Then they uh, provide the facilities to the farmers, not uh, in the term of knowledge. They provide the basics things, just like uh, infrastructures, their innovative uh, farming equipments, and some other things. Uh, those type of things are also there. Uh, and the, another thing, they provide the technological information by the uh, through the area to every farmers. It's a very impossible to read the every person, but group of persons, they provide the information our government of India decided uh, giving this technology on the field of, for the field of rice, for the field of wheat or for the, any crop. So they another uh, give the emphasis to demonstrate demonstration is very important because when you are giving the demonstration to the people, so they uh, can easily understand the things you know, which technology they prefer, which technology they adopt, what type of steps they are taken during the technological adoption. So one thing first provide the services, provide the technical knowledge, provide the financial things, and uh, extending the intensified agriculture production program. We have one another thing in the community development program. But drawback of the community development program, that because this program is running in the entire area, entire is an entire blocks of our country. But the planners, they are evaluating this program. They know that the program not achieve their objectives. First, drawback of the CDP, uneven distribution of the benefits of the program. Then absence of clearly defined priority in the program. We have decided to give the emphasis in the agriculture development program, but at that time, education facilities, school educations, middle educations are not available in our our infrastructure facilities like uh, road networks, uh, light facilities, electricity facilities, telephone networks are not available in the year of 1952. So you think the uh, absence of all these things, the execution of the particular programs or particular things are very difficult. So uh, definitions or clearly defined priorities not uh, uh, seen in the particular community development program because community development program linked with the, not linked with the agriculture, it's linked with the entire development of the villages, integrated development of the villages. So that, that clarity is not uh, mentioned in the particular program. That is another drawback of the uh, CDP. Then inability of the CDP to recognize and solve the inherent conflicts in the internal and inter-target groups. That is another thing because we provide the information, provide the knowledge for it. So conflicts are there because at that time, casteism are there. No, uh, that time, today in the Bihar, casteisms are there. 
so that there are conflicts are continuous uh, by group of peoples through transferring the technologies, transferring the wars, transferring the, uh, the facilities are very difficult in the particular group. So we have planned, our planners are planned for entire districts, entire blocks. But execution of that particular program in entire districts are very difficult. Another thing, lack of mass participation. Because without mass participation, so we are not running any project or any plan. It's a very important. Suppose we are doing the uh, work for upliftment of the people and people are not in, interested uh, in your program so that uh, it's a very difficult to execute the programs in the particular area. Then another uh, more bureaucratic, it means what happened the planning response for the government is create the local institution did not succeed first thing. Then another thing, power structure in the villages, that the evolution of the authorities and democratic decentralization. So that in the social system, what happened? Different social groups are there. Different people's group are there. Their uh, interested are there. The big form is interested with all technologies are uh, demonstrated their field. Yes. So the small farmers and marginal farmers deprived from the particular technologies, particular uh, projects. So uh, this uh, more bureaucratic approaches are also because they are providing the facilities for this particular people. They are pressurizing, they are understaffed. So that this type of activities are also one drawback in the CDP program. Community development. Community development program is a very big program in the particular era in the 1950 to date. Then after extension services era, that is related to agriculture because agriculture and rural development is a <coughs> link with each other. When you develop uh, rural, so we develop the agriculture. So government of India started so many programs. First, national extension services in the 1953, uh, the support of United Nations with the support of uh, US governments. This program was executed in the particular uh, selected districts of our entire country. Two districts selected from each state and national extension services started on the basis of pilot services. The function of the uh, uh, particular worker under in the national extension so is that they provide the uh, knowledge or transferring the technologies to the needed peoples. This program is very uh, fruitful in the case of different uh, technology transfers scheme, just like SPL and activities, either transferring the um, uh, innovation technologies, either. either not in the form of agriculture, in the field of horticulture, uh, in the field of social forestry, in the field of uh, 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 cotton industries, and so on. This program is a very fruitful program in the year of 1943. But the major lacuna of this program, the selection of the beneficiaries is not clear in the particular program. So the uh, national extension services provide the demonstration to the big farmer. But big farmers control the particular things and they are not distributing the particular entire or displaying the information to the people and not providing the peoples of uh, their own villages. So the national extension services is not functioning very well. And in the year 1960, the particular program is stopped. Government uh, year, day by day, day by, uh, year by year, government of India introduced so many programs, just like the IADP integrated uh, intensive agriculture district program. It based on the intensive agriculture, it means the selected their particular program is started in a selected district. And agriculture is the prime uh, things in the particular program, IADP, intensive agriculture. This program is also very useful in the southern region, in the Kerala region, in the Tamil Nadu region, in the Meghalaya region, uh, in the West Bengal region. But it's a pocket. We have developed our uh, agriculture models in the particular area, but these models are not suitable in the another area because the national uh, natural situations are different. So one technology is suitable for one area, so another uh, that is not suitable for another. 
So intensive agriculture district program is also a good program. Program is very good, but execution is not uh, as per uh, their objectives in the entire area. So that particular program fail in us. So, so many districts and that particular program run in us. But government of India is uh, run in this program up to 1976. And in the 1970s, the program was closed. Then applied nutrition program is started in the 1960s. That is also related with the rural development because this program is basic, uh, basically involved the rural peoples. Uh, the basic uh, things of the particular programs provide the nutritional knowledge or uh, nutritional support to the people they are uh, under the malnutrition conditions uh, because our farming situations are not well. Uh, we have not provided the food to entire population at that time and the uh, starvation and some other things are continuously increasing. Our 40% populations are not uh, taking food uh, two times. At the time of uh, in the year 1963, our 40% populations are taking their diets at one time, which diet? Second time, they are using a small not nutritious things and so many things. So applied nutrition program started in 1963. To entire villages of our country, they provide the knowledge, they provide the things, they, how they can eat, how you, they can improve their uh, food habits and uh, which type of foods they are taking, how they can improve the value added uh, things in their uh, uh, food items. So applied nutrition programs are concentrated on that. Then another program started in 1964 that is an integrated agriculture area program. Just like intensive agriculture, then integrated agriculture, then integrated elder development program started in the 1964. The national demonstration, all these things are related with the agriculture because agriculture gives the major emphasis on rural development. At that time, so many education programs are also in start, but that education program is related with the urban and rural areas both. But this program is related with the rural areas so that we incorporate all these things in our. So uh, in the integrated cattle development program, we started the cattle development activities of different selected products. Just like uh, in the Rajasthan, we started a goat farming. And the, uh, in the in, uh, North region, we emphasis give the pig farming, Northeast region and some of the in the uh, Punjab and Haryana, we are incorporated the cattle farming, milk cattle farming. So we identify the areas and which type of cattle they are naturally developed, naturally breeds are developed. So we emphasize cattle development program to it. In the particular cattle development program, one thing is very important, the IVBF technology introduced for the cattle to uh, their uh, you know, a breed development because we develop the uh, cross breeds uh, through our Indian Azogit uh, uh, combination of Indian and Azogit. So that cattle development program is synthesis give the cattle uh, development so that we have developed our milk production or wheat production and so they fulfill the different uh, nutritions uh, produced just like in our food. We incorporate all these things in the, our food. So integrated cattle development programs related. Then national demonstration projects we start in the 1965 because our country has suffered from uh, low productivity in the entire region, either in the field of every crop, either not in our oil seeds. Low productivity, suppose we uh, compare with the other countries. So the wheat uh, uh, as per compare in the crop production of wheat, uh, we have low in comparison to Canada. Uh, we are say in comparison to um, other countries uh, like uh, at that time um, rice is uh, rice productivity is more in the Indonesia and so the per acreage. I am talking about per acreage production. So a uh, national demonstration project is start on the basis of if we increase the acreage production of the crop. So under the national demonstration program, the technology developed by the agriculture universities, developed by the different uh, agriculture organizations, national centers uh, for agriculture. 
So those technology demonstrated in the selected former fields of the villages are two type of demonstrations are incorporated in this program, national demonstration. First of one is a legal demonstration and another one is a, a method demonstration. In the method demonstration, what happened? The farmers provide the piece of lands and the scientists or the extension workers develop the particular crop, similar crop. Just like they are producing the crop, uh, variety of safri, kranti and some other. So the farmers practices in the half acre of land and the scientists are practicing in another half acre. And uh, the, uh, all the methods they are showing in the particular piece of land and farmers are adopting. So the uh, farmers are aware about the methods that is developed by the scientists and uh, what is the production change? how much produce in their own uh, uh, methods and uh, what is the difference uh, by this method. So national demonstration project is a very successful model for the all crop, not in the uh, cereal crop, we are talking about the oil seed crops, we are talking about the cash crops and some other thing. Very, very good programs and up to 1984, this program is continuing. After introduction of training and visit systems, uh, under the training and visit system, this uh, program is stopped. Then uh, another thing, oil seed demands are increasing day by day. So government of India emphasizes the oil seed development programs in the year of 1966. Then high ling variety program introduced in the 1966 to 67. High ling variety, just uh, know the high uh, HYVP program. It's uh, another name is the uh, package program because uh, in the high limit treaty program, the government of India provide the seed, provide the fertilizers and provide the technical support along with the uh, good uh, scientific knowledge uh, because this program is very well known as a program, package program. There is a very popular program. After uh, 1964 into 1965, we are suffering from the uh, Pakistan war and uh, so many things, our financial positions are not well. And uh, along with uh, the particular, at that time, our uh, productivity is very low uh, due to uh, erratic rainfalls and uh, very low rainfalls. So that uh, in the year of uh, 1960s, uh, six, uh, the high linearity program introduced by the UN, support of the UN and support of the US uh, foundations. So that this program is a very successful program in the north uh, region of uh, Punjab, Haryana, uh, uh, just like uh, Bihar, Jharkhand, uh, UP, uh, upper part of MP. And our uh, production of wheat crop is boosting uh, by the, this program. So uh, we have uh, self-reliant, uh, we are uh, producing a more wheat uh, through this program. And our acreage production increasing, uh, just like uh, before we are introducing the uh, national development uh, demonstration programs or integrated uh, agriculture development program. This program is increasing our acreage production. Then FTEP, Farmers Training and Education Program. That is the another one program, uh, FTP, uh, because uh, government of India emphasizes providing the, the toolkits, providing the knowledge, providing the everything the farmers in the villages, but uh, farmers are not adopting the entire technology. So that they include uh, different farmers training and education program, but that program is not very successful. Uh, within a three months, the government of India identified this program is not successful because of so many reasons. In the village, we organize this program, but villages are not uh, uh, participating continuous in the program. They are uh, wasting one hour, two hours, or three hours. So that they develop the farmers training centers along with hostels. So farmers staying on uh, particular centers, they uh, taking the knowledge about every technologies and everything you know about, so that uh, in this, uh, these centers are very uh, popular. After that, these centers are uh, known as a Krishi Vigyankin, now these days they are very popular as a Krishi Vigyankin installation in entire districts of our 
trade there. <coughs> then another program is multiple crop program. Multiple crop program in the year of 1966. So in this slides, within 1964 to 66, so many programs introduced uh, by the government of India. Uh, that is a specific programs, that is a broad term programs, just like highly variety program based on the uh, wheat and productivity or increasing the productivity of rice in our area. But at the time, they are interested in the oil seed programs. But multiple crop program is slightly different from above programs, above all programs. Multiple crop programs give them facets of uh, multiple production in the each specific of land. It means they increase the cropping intensity of the particular area. Uh, just like uh, we say within a one uh, land, we produce more number of crops. So uh, first crop, suppose we are producing rice and after the fields are vacant. So uh, government of India plan ki which uh, crop we have introduced in the particular, they either in a short form, uh, either it's a using a less irrigation and some other. Location is specific, crop are introduced by the different uh, reason. Just like uh, soybean is a one example for the MP. Uh, in the Madhya Pradesh, uh, soybean program is started by the uh, this MCP program. And now these days, uh, more than 85% area covered under the soybean production in the Madhya uh, Pradesh. Because earlier, the uh, farmers are not producing this crop so that they are producing uh, minor millets or the major millets in the particular land, their productivity is less, and their price demands of the particular plant, uh, plants is very less. So multiple crop program is also successful in the uh, region of uh, Madhya Pradesh, in the region of Maharashtra for growing the horticulture crops and some other thing. Then uh, government of India introduced drought prone area program. Drought means the area suffer from the drought, just like Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra. Not in the Maharashtra, drought is also uh, in Chhattisgarh, in the Madhya Pradesh and so many area. There are very less irrigation facilities, or the farmers depends upon the uh, uh, rainfalls for the irrigation. So that area is also um, included in the particular program drought prone area. And government emphasizes in this program to how to develop the irrigation facilities, either in the form of uh, uh, tube wells, bore wells, develop the small can uh, uh, stop dams catchment, uh, increase the catchment areas of the uh, canals, uh, establish uh, the particular uh, different small dams, big dams also. So under the drought, uh, drought prone area, they develop the irrigation facilities. The very brook project under the drought prone area, that is a Ganga Nair, uh, all of you all know about that particular program that is uh, link with the entire uh, Punjab, UP, then after Rajasthan. So the Ganga water reach up to the uh, drought region of the Rajasthan and that particular canal is known as the Ganga um, uh, canal. So that uh, drought prone area is basically uh, providing the uh, irrigation facilities to the farmers so that the farmers uh, irrigate their land so they develop the uh, multiple crop, uh, produce the multiple crop in the particular specific piece of lands. Then another program introduced dry farming areas program. That is also one thing of uh, giving the emphasis to develop the variety that is produced in the dry farm and uh, dry areas. So drought resistance variety development is also very uh, one biggest task for our scientists how uh, develop the varieties that is drought resistance. So that uh, produce good, uh, give the good production in the drought areas also. So dry farming area program, providing the uh, two things, first drought resistance varieties, then another farmers are opting the particular dry uh, particular uh, seeds or particular uh, crops, and they produce 
those uh, those crops in the particular land they are the comes under the drought region or comes under the less irrigation facilities or non irrigation facilities so all these programs started within the 1953 to 1970 and all these programs centric they are centric approach up to the farmers or agriculture development so so agriculture development is the major emphasis for this program then we are talking about the green revolution because in our country so many revolution blue revolution yellow revolution green revolution then white revolution so you uh, know about all this revolution so we discuss about the green revolution green revolution basically related with the supply to feed food to all peoples all the, uh, at the one biggest agriculture producer uh, then another active participation of the peasant then another record green output up to 131 million tons in 1978 through the uh, introducing hybrid varieties dwarf varieties and some other things so the green revolution uh, that is related with the crop production white revolution that is related with the animal or milk production then yellow revolution that is related with the oil production uh, that is known as yellow revolution the another revolution that is a blue revolution that is increasing the fish production in our country so that uh, we concentrate with all these things in a specific milk production or either fish production say the meat production so that uh, we know this uh, these things as a revolution because they increasing our productivity many folds right? then idp then that's a I uh, shortcoming of the IDP because integrated agriculture development program is a very used program. Government invested uh, crores of rupees for integrated agriculture development program, but this program is not uh, achieving their objectives. Uh, the are the strongness, uh, strong things are there because the staffs are not clear about the method to reach the contributor. And, some problems are there so we discuss what the because that is a critical analysis so that uh, training programs for staff was not clear uh, one thing that matters how to reach the contributor how to fulfill the demands of the uh, uh, villagers or people or farmers uh, for ma which matters they are uh, needed that things not included in the iadp workshop seed testing and soil testing laboratories are not functioning as per required level today soil testing labs are there today or seed testing agencies are working in the country but at the time the, when iadp start their concept is very good we are providing these services to the villages but what happened we are not establishing our units in the region not in the uh, uh, block we are not established in the this region also then transportation and land development programs are not progressing successfully because we develop uh, we are not develop the infrastructure facilities so provide the packages or provide the uh, facilities up to the uh, end user just like a fertilizer and some other things that are very difficult at that time then uh, another thing cultivators are not using the insecticide fungicides and treatments suppose they are using the uh, innovative seeds uh, innovative technologies or things but they are not using all these things so production level is uh, decreasing so that they are uh, the farmers told ki you are giving the particular seeds and you say this pro uh, seeds produce how much quantity of uh, pro uh, pro uh, wheat or uh, paddy for the particular production but that particular production is not achieved so that uh, the farmers differ from the particular technology are not using the particular technology in a coming season or the next uh, year that is another thing because we are not give the knowledge about insecticides or fungicide suppose we are giving the knowledge about uh, insecticide fungicides rather than the farmers are not using this technology because they say uh, at that time they say that the chemicals are not good for health not this term. at that time farmers say this time scientists say uh, the uh, organic form in the uh, emphasis the organic forms so the things are in, uh, written back 
but at that time idp was introduced these things are one problems another problem communication then cooperative were not functioning well uh, how i highlighted because cooperative functioning we are establishing the cooperative societies but these cooperative societies how they work how they plan how they execute the thing that is not clear the members of the cooperative societies are also not educated or not um, visionary about the functionals of the cooperative movement so that that is not functioning then action research are lacking very little progress in the annual husbandries and fisheries at the time of idp 1960 then a stereotype form production plan then little participation of women in the program today women are more participated more uh, best worker rather than the men men i am not criticizing the men and women but in the farming community women are doing uh, so many jobs rather than men then another after 1970 so many different programs run by the government of india integrated cottage development program then whole village development program 1971 then small farmers development agency marginal farmer development agency 1971 then only for tribal area development program they are running the tadp then hill area development program uh, before uh, after introduction training and visa system some things are changed uh, all this tadp whole village development program small development development uh, there's a specific programs for the specific group just like a tribal area development program only uh, in this program only agriculture is not to give the emphasis we are emphasis the infrastructure facilities we are emphasis the education facilities health education health education facility and uh, other facilities other i mean is like a market facilities and in the tribal area development program Uh, just like a hill area development program goes uh, just uh, much of pradesh mizoram all areas are covered in the hill so hill area development program is also including all these things so sometimes tribal area development program so tribal area and hill area is also mix up uh, so the particular program run in the both for tribal people and the hill so the uh, tadp and hadp working on the agriculture development or uh, not working in the agriculture development it is related with the infrastructure development but marginal farmers and agriculture labor agencies concentrate provide the credits to the marginal farmers in the form of uh, goods or in the form of money uh, just like a small farmers development agency they are doing a similar job they are uh, strengthening these farmers population economically by the support of finance and uh, by the supports of commodity for increasing the crop production in the particular region or particular area but integrated cotton development program is a specific program because that is emphasizes the cotton uh, at that time insect effect on the cotton and cotton production is uh, reducing and uh, traditional cotton farming systems are affected by the red poll disease so that uh, integrated cotton development program is started in the region of maharashtra andhra pradesh karnataka and it increases the productivity of cotton in the specific area through the use of different uh, integrated approaches just like they are using the lady fingers for uh, plants in between the crop of, uh, two lines of cotton so that insect not affect the cotton they are using the Lady finger crop for their uh, living purpose. Then, in the year of nineteen seventy four, we start the training and visit system. That is a very big system. Training and visit means we provide the training to the farmers in the particular center and regular visit uh, to the particular centers. They how they can implement the particular technology transferred by the centers. for a uh, supporting training and visit system krushi vigyan kem just like a first their name is the krushi then it's converted in the krishi k r i s h i earlier it started with the krushi vigyan kem there's a maharashtra um, term krushi so that this particular kem what happened in the particular the training and visit system launched by the uh, run by the krushi vigyan kem in the entire this model is very successful model because 
Prishan Vidyan can regularly provide the value addition tradings, uh, uh, so many other tradings related with the broad development, related with the uh, nutrition development, uh, related with the post harvest technologies, and so on. So, the Government of India will give the emphasis and uh, Indian Council of Agriculture Research providing the uh, technology uh, to the farmers through the Krishi Vigyan Kendra. Then TDP, Tribal Development Blocks. Earlier we have started Tribal Area Development, then we have started Tribal Development Program. Under the Tribal Development Program, the similar things we are developing all, all facilities, all integrated development of the tribals. So they, we include all the things in the tribal development. So it's related to rural development, societal development, economical development, infrastructure development. Just like a CADP, command area development, it's the entirely related with the irrigation programs, CADP. Command area, it means a particular uh, irrigation facility, uh, that is the command region of the particular uh, dam or a particular uh, irrigation bodies. Uh, command area development program is a very successful program because it's not developed the big uh, huge dams. It's a uh, development of the small, uh, small dams, just like uh, 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 their catchment area is not uh, 25 or 30 square, uh, kilometers and their services up to 170 or 130 kilometers of canal services. So command area development is running now these days also. The government is providing the particular uh, funds for the particular reason. Then uh, integrated rural development program started in 1976 is also not functioning very well. Then operational research project, that is a very good project. Operational research project, because this time uh, government of India emphasized the research activities uh, comes under the former fields because the fields developed by the scientists and the former fields, there is a big difference. The scientists to doing all these things in the control condition. The farmers doing all these things in the uncontrolled condition. Why I'm saying controlled and non-controlled? Because in the control condition, everything is in control, irrigation in your control, fertilization in your control, everything in your control. Uh, but in the formal fields, it's a very difficult to provide the irrigation on the time, to provide the uh, fertilization, to provide the seeding, to provide the timely seeding because it depends upon the rain. Suppose planting duration is uh, in the month of June and they have planted uh, their um, sowing up to the July. So operational research project give the emphasis to organize the research on the formal fields. Another program, social forestry in 1976. Uh, area development programs, backward area, command area, dot one area, they are the areas related program. Then another 19, after 1970, so many programs, desert development program, lab to land program. It is also a very well known program, lab to land, because technology in the year of 1976, Government of India organized a one uh, evaluation survey to entire uh, country. Yeah, how much technology developed by our scientists in a particular center and uh, how many technologies transferred to the villages. The results are very very, very, um, uh, I think it's a very good for our government of India's people because they are providing the fund to the center. 70% technologies are not transferred. They are only generated, dialed by the centers, but that is not suitably for former fields or farmers are not adopted. Only 30% technologies are. It means we have invested 100 rupees, but we have based 70 rupees for development of our technology. So the lab to land program is uh, give the emphasis to providing the technology or transferring the technology by this program. Then another NARP, National Agriculture Research Project, training for rural youth and for self employment There is a very good training uh, program, TRISM, a very well-known program that is a flagship program of government of India in the 1979. It's a program started for the rural dropouts to provide the self-employment, how they can develop. They provide, in, under this program, they provide the trainings, and then after, they provide the financial support to establish their employment or cottage industries or uh, their shops or their market in the particular area. And they do this work so the rural youth in, engage in the particular activities. Uh, its entire program is not related with the agriculture sectors, it's the allied sectors of the uh, agriculture. So, TRISEM is a very good program. 
but some lacunas are there because we provide the services to provide the trainings to the rural youth, provide the financial support, but within a one or one year or two years, those particular uh, employment support uh, sorry, employment situations are different because market positions are not good, not supports, or we have the peoples are not producing their produce or they are not competent with the market. So that training SAM is a very good program, but this program is not capable to provide the uh, productive units to our market demand. It means market demand is different and our production is different. So that particular program is not running after 1990. Then National Rural Employment Program in 1980. We have changed this name of this program. Today, this program is known as uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, MNRG. Manmari National Rural Employment Guarantee Program, either is changed in the Jawahar Rojgar Yojana. So, National Rural Employment Program is continue running from 1980 to 2022. We provide in the under this uh, assured uh, employment to our farmers, our villagers, or our poor. Uh, so, we change the name, just like uh, in, say, 1989, rural, National Rural Employment Program, known as, known as the Jawahar Rojgar Yojana. But the similar things we are adopted. Tribal Uplifting Program, Rural Landless Employment Guarantee Program, then development of uh, women's and children's for DOCRA. That is a very important. Aganbadi concepts are coming from this program. Aganbadi uh, uh, workers are, uh, started working in this particular program, and this particular program continue in the another name, but uh, as a, just like the National Rural Health Services or National, uh, another NRHM, uh, uh, then uh, uh, your urban sectors, we are using another program. So, Anandwadi concepts, Anandwadi worker concepts are starting from this program. Then, National Agricultural Extension Project, National Watershed Development Project, uh, Water City also, because the emphasis, because we conserving the rain water to the small pockets, uh, just like it's developing the different canals, uh, developing the small uh, bodies, just like a ponds, uh, uh, just like uh, just, uh, canals, uh, uh, barricading the canals to con conserve the irrigation waters, uh, developing the stop dams, check dams, and so many things. Then national water development programs for rain fed areas. That is one of the one program that is not really linked with the watershed development. Watershed development continue running these days in the 2022, the watershed programs started. But in the rain fed area, this program is stopped in the year of 2020. Then Tyson, I have discussed all these things in uh, Ministry of Rural Development. Because this ministry earlier known as a uh, ministry of rural areas and employment. Then in the year of 1999, the ministry of rural areas and employment changed or renamed as a ministry of rural development. So major emphasis ministry of development uh, providing the uh, these things just like uh, India was here, the national social assistance program, so so under the uh, flagship program of our rural development, these programs are included. Then 1998, so many different programs, just like National Agriculture Technology, NATP, is running now these days, 2022, NATP is functioning, National Technology Management, uh, Atma is also run by the NAVART. Then Swarajanti Ram Yojana, another Jawar Rajgar Yojana converted as a Swarajanti Ram Yojana. The Antode Yanni Yojana started 2002, not 2000. We renamed this, uh, and the state governments renamed this particular Yojana, but this Yojana started by the Ministry of Rural Development, but that particular Yojana uh, run by the different state governments on their uh, state different state names or the different specific name. Then in uh, also, NATP also were functioning, but NAIP, 
National Agriculture Innovation Project, introduced in the uh, 2005. Uh, the main emphasis in the development of is, uh, innovative technology. The concepts come from the Israel rain-fed sector. We have developed the rain-fed sectors. Uh, we have developed the uh, rain-fed farming through the controlled condition, just like uh, uh, we say uh, seed development programs and other things in the controlled conditions by the making of greenhouse, polyhouses, and everything. So these programs uh, provide the uh, good opportunity to our flowers production, our horticulture production, food production, and everything. And another one thing is that is the brick market for our seed production agency. Earlier, seed production agency are governed by the different uh, organizations, but now government of India has started their own seed production through this program. Then Mahatma Gandhi, uh, National Rural Employment Guarantee Schemes, then National Rural Health Mission started in 2005. Then Aam Admi Mima Yujana started in 2007. All these days, uh, Modi government to give that uh, you know, this Mima up to 12 rupees for the one year, one lakh. So we start National Rural Livelihood Mission in our island with a big, very huge program. It's run entire district, entire uh, uh, district of entire state and entire country. Under this program, what happened? We promote the post service uh, activities, we promote the cottage industries, and we promote the self help group through NRL activities. Then, Roshni, Skill Development Center, schemes for tribes. It means after National Rural Livelihood uh, Mission, we started another important program only for tribal development that is known as uh, RSDST. Roshni. Because he means his, his president of the tribal. Then, Din Dayal Upadhyaya Gramin Kaushal Yojana, DDUGKY. It's uh, popularly known as the Eskil India program. Then, Sansad, uh, Sansad Adas Gram Yojana, then Swachh Bharat Mission, started in the 1940. 40. So many programs we are starting after independence, government of India introducing so many programs, right? health, issues, education is to, and so many other things. But when we are uh, thinking about these things, so one thing is uh, uh, we find out uh, education is not good in our, uh, planning is good, but education is not good because we have not developed the problem on the basis of their local uh, needs or their uh, local demands or natural resources. So that most of the program is not successful or not achieving the button. Then another one thing, decentralization of power. It's a very important thing. So that we discuss uh, this, uh, democratic decentralization to the panchayati run. This is a three-tier system, village level, block level, and the uh, district level. And now these days, all the plans, all the development plans run by this uh, panchayati raj. Uh, three tire system. First, village develop their own plan, then they give the block, then the uh, block give the district, and uh, fundings are also provided through this way. So, Panchayati Raj is also a very important thing. Uh, government are introducing, uh, various governments are introducing this program step by step, and uh, even state government are not introducing in the earlier stage. Now, these days they are compulsory for all its, uh, states to introduce Panchayati Raj system in their own villages. Then five-year plans, because we are discussing five-year plans. Every five-year plans are given the emphasis and different. So in the first five-year plans, we are providing two things. First, increase the production capacity and uh, lessen the economic disparity. In the second five-year plans, rapid industrialization in the sector of steel, in the sector of flowers. At that time, seven steel Big steel plants are developed in our India, Durgapur, Bilai, just like uh, Bukharu and so on. I am not uh, steel in the sector of zinc and the alloy uh, in the sector of power. Uh, we are developing the uh, different production units to meet out our uh, industrial demands because industrial uh, energy demands is very high. So that we uh, concentrate the rapid industrialization in the second phase. In the third five-year plans, what happened? The top priority is the agriculture. Then after, and develop the basic infrastructure for the industries. 
But at that time, 1960, we are suffering from Indochina and Indo-Pak Wars. It means our funds are not achieved. We have not achieved the uh, targets of five-year plans. Then fourth five-year plans started in the 1969 to 74. Before 1965 to 69, we have done the annual plans. So uh, uh, in the fourth five-year plans, uh, so many good things we are uh, nationalized our governments. Uh, banks, not uh, government banks, we uh, nationalized the, our coal sectors, that is a very big sectors run by the private organizations, but government of India taking all the sectors under the uh, government uh, body. So, fourth five-year plans, uh, it's uh, give the uh, road map to the development of particular uh, industrial sectors along with our financial sectors and the green revolution is also started along with the white revolution you know starting in 1974 so this plan is very good uh, this plan period is very good for development of our india then ninth fifth year plan is a way of, uh, giving the uh, priority to the poverty elevation poverty is still coming then 1978 to 1990 uh, rolling plants are there. Uh, three rolling plants are there. In the rolling plants, we develop the five budget for every year, then fix number of plants, three, four, five years, then the respective plan for long term. But that is not uh, run by the another government. The government of uh, another government is started another six five year plan announced in the year of 1980. And up to 1980 to 85. Uh, the major uh, uh, emphasis given the economic liberalization and eradicating the poverty. So, uh, six five year plan is not uh, very good for uh, development purpose, not in the field of agriculture, not in the field of even in the field of technology that is not uh, achieving the targets. Seven five year plan is starting uh, period is 1985 to 90. So uh, in this program, one thing is very important. Uh, they are upgrading the technologies during this program. Uh, so then, then seventh, then after annual plans in the year of 1991-92, then eight five-year plan, 92 to 97. Uh, that is a very reform plan because economic reforms are introduced in the particular program and we are opening our market for the entire world. So that particular plan period uh, establishing uh, so many things they are uh, achieving in the particular finance sectors, in the industrial areas, in the foreign exchange, and so on. but it's not uh, achieving the growth of our international sector, GDP growth and agriculture sector growth. In the 1997 to 2002, that is the main focus of this program is growth with social justice and equality. In this era, we are discussed about the social justice also because our most of the populations are deprived from those justice. So that uh, this particular five-year program, they are providing the justice facilities, even the courts and some other things, and providing the knowledge to the peoples and equality. We discussed about it. Then 10 five-year plan 2000. To 2007. It's a very successful. And in this program, we are concentrating the forest development activities. Then 12 five year program started 2012 to 2016. Uh, the main theme faster, more inclusive, and sustainable growth. Then, after India government dissolved all the following commissions and replaced by the Niti Ayat. So now the present uh, Niti Ayat, no financial role. It's provided only the policies. Map the guides, uh, sorry, develop the guide maps and policy maps and everything and provide the particular to the uh, government of India, okay, how they can plan a three year section plan, five year action plan, and 10 year action plan. And cabinet approve the particular plan and they provide the funds in the particular sector. So that today Niti IR is functioning. Then modern NGO, rural banking, uh, finance, uh, small agencies are there. But constants in rural development, all these programs, apart from all these programs, we are there, still poverty is continuing. We are not eradicating the poverty. All, uh, every day we are saying the poverty eradica uh, eradication programs we are running. But still, under the 20% population, 
residing in the below the poverty level. Okay. Then connectivity. Now this is we know the connectivity increasing day by day, day by day. In the last ten years, we uh, developed so many good highways, six lane, four lanes, even the connectivity ideas, straight highways. So we improving the road network facilities in our hilly areas also. So, but we are not achieving uh, to the entire population. Our hilly areas, our tribal areas are still deprived from the communication facilities. Rather, not in the terms of uh, transport, in the terms of uh, communication services, in the terms of uh, uh, road, uh, rail network and road network, in the terms of transportation facilities, just like uh, bus services, uh, boot services and everything. So road, bad road conditions are also very, uh, play a big role to implementing the particular program. Electricity and water supply is also a challenge. Government of India start Najal Yojana, but that is we are uh, not providing the entire population to drinkable water or water. So that uh, our population is not, uh, 33 population are estimated. They are not uh, receiving the electricity up to 24 hours. Then water, then after education and literacy. Uh, 2015, the youth literacy rate in India 90.2, but adult literacy is 74. So uh, in the education facilities, we are developing day by day, day by day. But what happened for the higher education? Only 8 to 10 percent populations are going to higher education. The higher education situation is also not good in the entire India. I am not talking about a specific state, Kerala and uh, just like uh, Punjab or Haryana and Northeast or Central India region is very, uh, our education facilities are very low. In the Bihar, in the MP Chhattisgarh, uh, uh, Andhra, and Karnataka, our school education system are very uh, uh, less facilities are not. Uh, our uh, teachers are uh, not uh, uh, sufficient number in the particular age. One one teacher providing the education to one to five class. So the education facilities are also still in a very uh, not in a good situation. They say the education facilities not uh, reach up to the all people. Then after employment, employment is a big issue in our rural development sector. And I think uh, in the coming sectors, uh, day by day our population is growing, so that employment opportunities are less by less by less. So employment is a big issue now these days, in the coming days also, in the previous days also, employment is a big issue. And we are not providing the employment to all peoples, everybody knows, government is not providing the uh, so that they give the skill and this is the Make in India program, Skill India programs, and entrepreneurship incubation centers, and they are provided. Even though universities are involved in the production activities, value addition activities, and some other things. It means they give the uh, 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 universities uh, uh, some uh, different centers there in uh, developing the innovative technologies for the former sectors, for the rural people, so that we can make the, their life easy, they are increasing the productivity and some other thing. So all these are challenges, education are challenges, connectivity are challenges, water are challenges, uh, even though water in the terms of drinking water, irrigation water and everything. Then employment, so there are the big challenges in our rural development sectors. Then another big challenge, migration of urban areas. Migration of urban areas and land reforms. We still need uh, uh, land reforms because uh, agricultural lands, because many big people are purchasing the lands, but they are not cultivating. So reform are needed in the particular sectors. And the migration of urban areas, it's a big issue in the com uh, coming uh, decades because our rural population decreasing and our urban population increasing. Uh, before, after uh, before independence, our seventy percent, more than seventy percent, uh, population living in the area, rural area. Now these uh, 
this 62 percent populations are living in the rural areas and day by day day by day migration is increasing for a better employment better uh, better infrastructures and everything so the urban populations are increasing vastly and the facilities developed in the urban uh, areas that is very difficult to beat out another decades so that the migration is a big challenge big issues for our urban areas that is the uh, india road ahead reducing poverty remains india's greatest challenge the development is essential to raise the income of the poor all these are the challenges in the year of 1947 now this same challenges in our country. we are improving day by day day by day we are improving in the sector of electricity in the sector of infrastructure but we are not reach up to the entire population so thank you if you will ask to any question hello ah oh, sir yeah sir hello sir uh, sir you can conclude Sir, any question from any participant? Nathan, do sir, you can conclude. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, thank uh, you, sir. So far, so far, no question, sir. We have not received any question. So, dear participants, if you have any question, just put it. No question, sir. Someone is sending. so they are not having any questions sir so thanks a lot for joining and uh, enlightening us on a topic which is very much uh, what to say untouched area uh, this topic we had not covered in this course so thanks for uh, enlightening us on this area and uh, thanks for sparing your time sir and uh, hope you, sir. we meet again sometime thank you sir for giving the opportunity we are discussed the technological segments in another session because i am working with the remote sensing technologies now these days for the rural uh, sir uh, sir one thing uh, one participant has posted a question sir so sir. just see in question and answer box uh, sadik ahmed lashkar has posted the question and answer box one just day. below yes one So I am not. Uh, it's difficult to see the questions. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, I will just read. It is very long question, so I thought better you read it. No, so I, I will read, read it. it. Okay, sir. So I will read it, uh, sir. From your discussion after independence, government of India initiated a number of development program for rural development. Some program had good results, and some program failed to yield good results. Sir. on its failure may we assume that in post independence india the major weakness of rural development programs have been lack of political will of the political leaders to initiate measures for structural change in social and economic fabric of the society sir so he is asking that whether uh, we should uh, attribute the failure of programs towards the will of the leaders uh, sir uh, thank you sir uh, i am not saying that is the uh, related with the political will uh, because uh, so many plans developed by the uh, area specific program but these area specific programs are developed by the uh, planners but they don't know about the basic needs of the particular program just like a one program i have discussed so that uh, they understand the things a one program government of india started for the birhor tribes total population of uh, birhor tribes is uh, 360 in our uh, 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 state uh, they introduced 300 crore rupees for increasing the population of birhor and pahadi korwa in our uh, state but what happened after uh, closing of 3 uh, years the entire 300 uh, crore rupees are uh, invested but the population is decreased 
that is a one thing. Three hundred crore you are investing only for the increasing of the population. After completing the project, the population is depressed. There is no political will because that is not relate with the basic needs and basic thoughts of the tribal. Tribal they don't know about the uh, education system. They don't know about the infrastructure. They live there. They provide the houses, but they live uh, they live only one hours, two hours. They they. Uh, then or then they are living in the uh, their own huts and so on. It means your cottage are not good for that. Your planning is not good for that. So many government of India is starting their particular program on the basis of planners, but that is not a specific uh, uh, fulfill the specific need of the farmers. That's why the major programs are failures. Major programs, not even the community uh, national agriculture. Today they are running the Atma program that is entirely failure programs, but they are continuing providing the supports. Uh, they give the good uh, results on the paper, but what happened in the field? The entire things are different. So the political will one thing because some areas are developed due to the political interference, just like a Gwalior, even though Raipur, and the uh, Begalias, uh, so many areas to the political. Suppose one people's uh, Lalu Yadav. They are railway minister. They started 17 trains from Patna to Delhi. Uh, not in a passenger train. They started good trains. It means you produce vegetable in the Patna and market in the Delhi. Uh, up to 4 p.m. The, the train is started and up to uh, non-stop train and reach up to uh, 3 uh, a.m. morning in the uh, Delhi station. So uh, farmers getting you know, providing the uh, market facilities to the Delhi. This type of uh, political will are encouraged in some specific area, but it's not entire. I I I know I uh, Sansad Gram used now. It means the government uh, Modi government emphasis that every Sansad uh, choose a one village and they give the emphasis to develop and uh, every Sansad. Uh, give the two crore rupees for this particular period. What happened? You search, you list out, find out how many sons of the other uh, Gram Yojana is riding in Meghalaya, Mizoram, and you visited those places and identify which things or which schemes are introduced in the particular. And this is a hundred percent failure program. Those things are only. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not seeing all the things, and the, because it's not, I am a government worker, but I'm not seeing all these things. <laughs> Just like uh, in the one program, I saw so many things, so that uh, so many <laughs> time criticized by the government officers. So it's mm -hmm. very difficult. Uh, government give the good plan, but sometimes execution or executors are not knowing the things we, how they can execute the particular program. For example. Uh, one forming that is related with the Singhala, I don't know what's the name in your measurement uh, term, they produce in the uh, water body. Uh, they provide the technology to our farmers. Farmers are uh, uh, using those fishes in the lower side and upper side they are producing Singhala. What happened, the insect affect the particular crop and farmers uh, contacting the fish we can can be Bilaspur scientists say okay, you use this insecticide, display the particular thing, so uh, entire insects are done. What happened? Farmer purchased the particular insecticide and spread. Entire villagers are pro problem up to three days because uh, after spraying of the insecticide, all fishes are right. So that this is the, another example of technology transfer. Technology is good, knowledge is good. But execution is bad. So the things are, everything is related. Infrastructure, political will, infrastructure is related. Uh, it's related with the infrastructure. Uh, politically, uh, people are developed the infrastructure, but politically, people are not developed the ruler people. Because ruler people's needs are different, ruler people's their demands are different, and their needs are very little. You fulfill the little demands, they are, uh, you're, uh, uh, develop the entire society, but all the all the development programs are not need based program. That is major constraints. I think. Uh, yes, sir. So, 
thanks for your response. Deli uh, so we thank you for sparing your time and enlightening us. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks, and sir. we end our session here. Sir. Uh, so, dear participants, our uh, next session will start at 1.30. So, take a lunch break. We have already taken 10 minutes of your lunch break. So, anyway, you start now. And uh, at uh, 1.30, we'll meet again. And Professor uh, Joyang Pari, madam, will be joining us.